пизда нахуй, Лёха. Что? Ты проходишь прям вообще по краям, прям пизда по кромке асфальта, нахуй. Вот, кстати, Прям по кромке асфальта, нахуй. Вот мост. Подъезд к мосту. Асфальт отличный. Пройдет, если только не делать укрепление. Не проехать. А? Не проехать. Ну, так ты сними. Я снимаю. Все. Не проехать. Фантом, кусок там. Там кусок. Все, а там куска нет вообще. Все. In Russia, the second Mi-8 helicopter with passengers on board has disappeared from radar in recent days. Earlier, 22 people died in a crash in Kamchatka. Now, an emergency has occurred with a helicopter in Buryatia, which had six people on board. The Russian Emergencies Ministry says there may have been a crash, but the local governor says the helicopter was found after a hard landing that left two people injured. The internet emphasizes that old Soviet equipment is gradually exhausting its resource and breaking down. But instead of modernization, all the money is spent on the war with Ukraine. Instead of development, the Kremlin spends the Russian budget on fighting sanctions and meat storms of waste heaps and landings in Donbass, so the number of disasters and their victims will only increase, commentators note. Apparently, this is already a completely systematic phenomenon, the end of the operational cycle of machines that have exhausted their resource. It is impossible to use mechanisms indefinitely without replacing them, but it seems there is not much to replace them with. Russian analyst Anatoly Nesmian comments on the emergency. The Mi-8 is a two-engine helicopter designed in the 1960s. It is widely used in Russia where crashes have been frequent as well as in neighboring countries and many other nations. Mi-8 helicopters are built at Ulan Ude Aviation Plant and the Kazan Helicopters, both Russian helicopters companies. Currently, more than 12,000 Mi-8-17 stroke helicopters have been produced, a record for twin-engine helicopters anywhere in the world. They have been supplied to more than 100 countries worldwide and racked up total flying time of about 100 million hours. The following models are currently in production. MI-8AMT, MI-8MTV-1, MI-171, MI-171A1 and MI-172. In August 2021, an MI-8 helicopter with 16 people on board, including 13 tourists, crashed into a lake in Kamchatka due to poor visibility, killing eight. In July that year, a plane crashed as it came in to land on the peninsula with 22 passengers and six crew on board, all of whom were killed. Strategic Industries Minister Alexander Kamishin, Justice Minister Denis Meliuska, Ecology Minister Ruslan Strelitz, Deputy Prime Minister for European and Euro-Atlantic Integration Ol Stefanishina, and Deputy Prime Minister and Reintegration Minister Irina Vereshchuk submitted their resignations to the Ukrainian Parliament, Chairman Ruslan Stefanchuk reported. Vitaly Koval, head of the State Property Fund of Ukraine, also submitted his resignation nine months after being in office. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmytro Kaleba has resigned from the post of Ukrainian Foreign Minister. The Speaker of the Ukrainian Parliament Ruslan Stefanchuk informed the Verkhovna Rada that the diplomat's statement had been received in his Facebook account. According to Stefanchuk, Ukraine's Parliament will consider officials' resignations at one of the next plenary sessions. In the Ukrainian segment of social networks, 
there is an active discussion about what is behind such an urgent and synchronous resignation of several ministers. Some users saw a bad sign in Kaleba's demarche and are demanding an explanation from the supreme power. Explain to the people what is happening. Why are you silent? Or will it be like February 24th, people write. There is also a version that Kaleba's resignation is connected not so much with his colleagues in the cabinet of ministers, but with unpleasant events, when the head of the Polish government, Donald Tusk, responded to Kaleba's statements on a historical topic.